for the next session on no half series this video is again about a mass transistor in a linear region we have seen two different videos on how a nmos transistor operates or behaves in a linear region and what is the linear relationship between the drain current and the applied drain to source voltage the video links are shared in the description box below for your kind reference now here in this video we will try to understand how a mass transistor working in a linear region can be utilized as a variable voltage controlled resistor and also we should understand the reason why this linear region is also known as resistive or ohmic region here is the iv characteristics of nmos transistor where there is a plot between the applied drain to source voltage and the obtained drain to source current for various gate to source voltages and here also we can see there are three different regions of operation one is the cutoff region and the voltage conditions for the cutoff region is where the applied gate to source voltage is much less than the threshold voltage where the threshold voltage is a minimum gate voltage requirement so when that is not met the ids current is going to be zero and then slightly we try to increase the vgs and also the vds is increased but it is still less than the vgs minus vt where vgs minus vt is a threshold voltage and when we see that there is a linear relationship between the applied drain to source voltage and the drain to source current this explanation is given in a separate video and all the three different regions of operation is also discussed in a separate video all the video links are shared in the description box below now when we try to increase the applied drain to source voltage we can observe that the drain to source current gets saturated so all these discussion we have seen before now in this particular video we are going to focus on how this linear region is also known as a resistive region or as a ohmic region and how we are going to use this nmos transistor as a voltage controlled resistor so that is what we are going to see here so now first let us start a discussion on how this linear region can also be named as a resistive or ohmic region for that you can observe here i have marked two intersection lines so with this we will first take the slope between the applied drain to source voltage and the obtained drain to source current now here we can see the slope formula which is del ids by del vds so del is representing the difference between the two ids values and the difference between the two vds values and for a linear region where vgs is greater than vt but vds is relatively small and when vds is less than vgs minus vt we also understood that this ids is almost linearly increasing with the applied drain to source voltage and this linear relationship we have understood very clearly in the previous video so now with this we have concluded that vds is proportional to the obtained drain to source current so this linear relationship can be equated with a resistive constant and the formula becomes v equal to ir and this is by ohm's law this is very familiar and that is the reason why this linear region can also be called as a resistive region or as a ohmic region now what we are going to see is how this mass transistor operating in a linear region can be utilized as a variable voltage control resistor now let's start with the first slope which is at vgs equal to 0.8 volt and here is the intersection line and i have marked as 1 the first slope and the second slope which i have marked as 2 is the intersection point here and that is for the applied gate to source voltage of 1 volt now here is a first slope which is between 50 minus 0 and 0.25 minus 0 so therefore it is 50 by 0.25 which is equal to 200 microamps per volt which is for the applied gate to source voltage of 0.8 volts and the second slope is between 100 and 0.35 and the slope value is 285.7 microamps per volt and that is for the applied gate to source voltage of 1 volt so here we can see that we have taken the slope values for different values of vgs so here please observe 
that you have increased the VGS value from 0.8 volt to 1 volt and observe the slope values. The slope values are also increased from 200 to 285.7. So which means the conclusion is when you increase your VGS, your slope is also increasing. When your slope is increased, we know that it is inversely proportional with the resistance value and hence the resistance is going to be less. Therefore, for different values of VGS, the channel resistance changes. Hence, by varying the VGS value, we can use the NMOS transistor as a variable resistor in a linear region. I hope that this video was useful. In this, we have clearly understood how a mass transistor operating in a linear region can be utilized as a variable voltage control resistor. And we have also understood how a linear region is related as a resistive or a ohmic region and in the next video we will try to understand how a linear region is also known as a triode region so let us understand that reason until then stay safe thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel